Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce. This is Rohit and today I am going to discuss about SharePoint release callout example in Spring 24 because it's having like a very interested topic so we have to learn this thing because it's a new one. Okay, so if you are new in this channel so you can subscribe the channel also you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side. You can watch this video until end if you want to learn something new don't skip any part of this video okay so let's get started without any further delay so first of all how to write this call out inside the salesforce using vs code very simple just you have to create your apex class and under the apex class you can write your logic so how to do that just let me open this vs code so now you can see my vs code let me open and let me create one apex class so let me create the apex class class name it can be anything but in my case i'm using this save point like save point release call out something like okay enter it now you you will be see my apex class successfully created here let me remove this constructor here okay and now it's time to write our code so how to write the code very simple and very useful to use this one right so now first of all let me create the method like public void like basic auth callout so i'm not using any you know uh, name credential so i'm using directly uh, this api in uh, our example so this is the method under this method i can write my code so how to write the code very simple just you have to do one thing so first of all you have to create the http request like http request like req equal to new http request so this is the instance of this class if you want to make any callout in salesforce so always use this kind of classes it's a predefined classes we have to use it right after that now you have to set endpoint so how to set the endpoint so req this request dot set endpoint so we have to search set endpoint and our endpoint so in my case i am using this endpoint like dog api so let me copy this one paste it here here and let me make it like uh, in single quote this one and here now you can see the endpoint so once you set your endpoint now you have to provide the method as well so it's a get method here and after that like header set the header so content type application json because in my browser window if you can see here this is the json response okay so based on this response we have to make our code reliable okay so now we have to do one thing just we have to set the uh, you know header so request dot set the header under this header we have to pass like content type content type application json right after that uh, we have to set the header again so this is the uh, you know accept which which type of json you have to accept so just use here like accept application json so now our header is ready now we have to create the instance of http class like http and after that we have to create the instance of http response and we have to send this response to this http.send method inside this method we have to pass this http instance if you want to make any call out now we have to do one thing just we have to check like if if like a response dot get status code is 200 then we can check the body part of this you know api so before that let me create the string variable because i need to check the response body like that and we have to print this response body using this variable right so just let me copy this one copy it and print here okay so now you can see the response body let me save this class and let me deploy so let me save this first and then we will see this is successfully saved or not okay so this is a basic example of the callout now successfully saved here right so once you saved it let me do that one thing here once you saved it so now you can perform this action here right 
so how to do that so now once you save this class just you have to call this class using anonymous window there are so many ways to call the apex class but right now i'm using this script part here so this one apex hello apex right and remove everything from here and let me call this class because this is a non-static method please observe this is a basic call out is a non-static so we have to create the instance of this class so let me create the instance of this class like sp equal to new and then save point this one after that we have to call the method like basic call out this one right here let me execute this one and let's see okay so just click on this execute here and once you click on ex execute it's showing me some error so what is the error here please observe once you come down here now you can see unauthorized endpoint please check this setup security remote site setting so we have to whitelisted this api in the remote site setting so how to do that let me open my org and once you open the org then you have to enable this remote site setting with this api right so let me open this org here and once you open it now you can enable this api to accept this response so just open it now my org is open here now let me search remote site setting under the quick find like remote so once you search like remote you can see the remote site setting and here you have to add your remote site setting just click on this new remote site setting let's say dog api something like that and my url remote site url so this is the main url so let me highlight it this one like this click on the save button okay so it's like a dog underscore or sub dog underscore api something like that Just click on the save and once you save it now you can see my uh, this api is whitelisted let me try to execute again so just clear this one let me click on this execute and you can see the uh, response of this api but my question is the main purpose of this video is like call out how to make it call out before dml something like that right so like after dml or before dml right so how to make it the call out after dml so this is the call out code under this one let me create or make it like do dml here right so once you uh, write the dml let's say account i want to use the account acc new one and insert a right let me save this class and once you save this class then you will be see an error okay let me execute this class and once you execute immediately you can see my error system call out exception you have uncommitted work pending please comment or roll back before call out so this is the error so how to fix this error so in this release spring 24 we have this feature and then you can use anywhere as you want to avoid this kind of you know uh, errors so very simple just you have to do one thing in your apex class if you face this problem then you can work accordingly and you can avoid this class uh, this kind of error so how to do that so first of all in this method right in this method i want to take uh, like save point so you have to create like save point sp equal to and then new database this is a database class dot save point set save point like set save point right so this is the method like save point inside database class and after that you can roll back this thing so how to roll back after insert let me try to roll back right so how to do that so database database is the class and have the rollback dot sp and after that you can write and you can release save point right so how to do that database database dot 
release save point and my save point like SP. Let me save this and let me try. This uh, error will be gone or not. You can check out here, right? So still, let me remove this new one because no need worry about to create this you know instance of this class. Just let me save this and let me try to deploy this class. So now successfully deploy my class. Now we have to check this one. So let me execute again. And once you execute, still you can see the error like this one. So how to avoid it? Why it is showing like this kind of problem? So how to fix it? So do one thing. Just first of all, you have to use your try catch. This is the first solution. Also, you can use like platform events. So let me use the try catch block first. So let me use the try catch here. So just use try catch, like try catch. Under this try catch, like in the try, I want to make it like any DML. So DML here, just cut this code, paste it here. And under the catch one, catch block, I want to make it the callout. So how to do that? Just cut everything from here, paste it inside this one. Let me save this code. And after that, we will see the, uh, you know, uh, this successfully execute or not this class without any error, right? And we can make it the callout. If something is happened like before callout, like as DML, so you can handle it like that. Okay, so just click on this execute and let's see. So now you can see, let me throw some exception and let's say integer on equal to zero, something like that. Okay, let me save this. And once you save this, let me try to execute this class again. So just click on this execute here. And now you will be see something that is called um, the re response of this. Here you can see uh, our callout is successfully done. I still we have the error inside the you know try block because one divided by zero. So and uh, also we can perform the DML. So after DML you can call the you know callout using this kind of trick, right? You call out here one. And also check the DML as well. DML is statement three. Why it is three? First is here you can see the insert. Okay. Second this one and third one this one. That's why you can see the three DML. So this is how you can maintain this kind of you know error in your callout. You know after DML. So guys, I hope you learned something new in this video. If you feel like this is a very more informative for us, so please like, share, comments. And I need your support. So please subscribe as much as you can. And also you can learn lots of stuffs because I already made lots of video in the, you know, new releases, every new releases or Salesforce related contents. So please support me guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.